the Herschel Walker thing is a controversial topic to talk about because of the allegations against him. And what I want to do today is I want to just share with you what my thought process has been as I've watched this unfold. This is now multiple days in the making. It doesn't look like it's going to go out of the news cycle. Probably between now and the election, this is going to be the October surprise against Herschel Walker. It's critically important that Republicans win the Senate seats in all of these swing states or these these swing races, whether it's Arizona, whether it's Wisconsin, whether it's Ohio, whether it's Pennsylvania, whether it's Georgia, we need to win these seats. So this has been my thought process. As a broadcaster, as a podcaster, as someone who sits here and talks to you, uh, and someone who is openly conservative, there's basically two ways that we go about stories like this when we're covering stories like this. One of the ways is you either acknowledge the allegations just in passing, and then you quickly move on from the allegations to talk about the candidate themselves or the race themselves. It's like a 10% on the allegation to 90% on your point. Or if you're on the other side, if, you, if, you, um, if you're on the side of the person making the allegations or you're against the candidate, you usually do it opposite. You spend 90% of the time on the allegations and 10% of the time on the takeaway because you want people to remember the allegations. So what I want to do is I want to like put those strategies aside for right now. I don't want to do this in any kind of strategic, tactical, political way. I just want to look at the allegations with you and tell you where my mind is. So the allegation stemmed from two places, from Herschel Walker's son and from the Daily Beast. The Daily Beast wrote a piece or published a piece making an allegation that Herschel Walker had impregnated a woman who was not his wife and then paid for her to abort the child. They claim that they have not only a get well card that Herschel Walker sent and signed to this woman, but that the woman has a receipt from the abortion clinic. They claim they have the literal receipts, not the colloquial way that we understand, oh, they have receipts, but literal receipts. I have not seen those. They did not publish those. I don't know whether that's true. Herschel Walker denies this. He says he never paid for an abortion. We don't, it's it's a, it's a Daily Beast said, Herschel Walker said it. He said, he said, I have no idea if that's true or not. That's the first allegation that has been made. The second allegation comes from his son, Christian Walker. And this is the tweet that Christian Walker sent out on October 3rd. And it's it's gone wildly viral. This is exactly what the radical left wants to hear about. This is a dream come true for the radical left. This is what Christian Walker tweeted. He said, I know my mom and I would really appreciate if my father, Herschel Walker, stopped lying and making a mockery of us. You were not a family man when you left us to bang a bunch of women threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months running from your violence. So you read that. I mean, that's not good. If those allegations are true, it's very problematic. If this is true, this guy's a mess. Now, I will say, there's a little bit of a contradiction. This was sent out on October 3rd of 2022, two years ago, in Uh, In June of 2020, Christian Walker tweeted this. He said, thankful I had a black father who empowered me to be a victor and supported me on my endeavors instead of pouring victimhood into me and telling me I'm oppressed. Happy Father's Day, Herschel Walker. A year later, the next Father's Day, he said, happy Father's Day, Herschel Walker. Thank you for all you do and for your love of our great country. Can't wait to see all you do. So there's a little bit of a contradiction between what Christian Walker tweeted now in October of 2022, and then what he tweeted last year in June of 2021 and the year before in June of 2020. So there is that. I will acknowledge that. Does that make the current allegations untrue? I mean, it it lessens them a little bit, unless he was being completely insincere last year. But then he made this video. Christian Walker made this video, and I, I, I want you to watch it. I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? It's something, isn't it? It's hard to watch that and not 
feel the emotion that it elicits. I mean, as conservatives, it does suck to have to vote for, excuse my French, but shitty candidates. It does. That is where, right there, that's where the left would like us to stop. They'd like conservatives who do support family values, who don't support promiscuity, who don't support absent fathers, who certainly are pro-life and anti-abortion. They'd like conservatives to look at these allegations and say, listen, this man, Herschel Walker, is living his life in a way that we do not support. Therefore, we will not vote for him. But that, my friends, is not even kind of the whole story. And if we stop right there, then we are doing a disservice to our country.